Are you looking for new music from 2022 that you want to listen to to help you get a good feel for music that's coming out within the year? Check out my playlist down in the description below, 2022 is on fire, where I feature my personal favorite tracks from the albums I've listened to throughout the year, whether I've reviewed it already, only written the review, or I just listened to it casually. Check it out when you have the time, I'd really appreciate the support, and you might even find a band or an artist that you didn't know previously that might be a new favorite. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Maybe this is a sign of my age or just my possible disconnect with music, but I just don't get it. Welcome to Ray Reno Does Music, where today we're looking at the newest album from the band Dashboard Confessional called All the Truth That I Can Tell. As you can tell, I'm still setting... that, that kind of made some wordy sense. Uh, as you can tell, I'm still sitting down, I'm still cranking out quick reviews. The length of this album review is probably a little quicker than the reviews you're usually used to because I got a big backlog. Sitting down and reading directly from a script like I am right now is the easiest thing for me to do in order to push these videos out. So I apologize for that, but it is going to mean some more content such as this and a lot more albums that I'm getting ready to put out. Getting back into the actual review, let's talk about Dashboard Confessional really quickly. I have a love-hate relationship with this band where I enjoyed the hell out of early albums like Swiss Army Romance, or the Shade of Poison Trees, but over time I found that this was a band that never really took their seemingly constant momentum and ran with it. Trading out a lot of the instrumental variants that was found in the first few releases for a more muted and subdued sound, especially in the last release, Crooked Shadows, an album that I heavily criticized, I struggled to find anything else enjoyable on a personal level or even a critical level from the band's modern area. There is of course the fact that remaining that DC is now a project focused solely on telling stories with blunt honesty, especially in this new release, but that act alone can't polish dirt into diamond, and it seems like that very same adage can be applied to this release. I've said it before, I say it again, I hate going into a release and writing a review for an album with an overall negative mental space. In fact, even with some recent reviews I've written or posted, such as Atreus Baptize, Skillet's Dominion, or Trivium's Core of the Dragon, I make several attempts at trying to drag out some positives, but it just can't be done with this album from Dashboard Confessional. There were at best two moments within the entire 41 minute runtime of All the Truth I Can Tell, where I felt like I was actually listening to an album with different songs than what I was already listening to before. This comes in one of the few songs that includes multiple instruments in full form, pain-free in three chords. Unlike the majority of the songs on this album, and although it takes about a minute, we do get a full band performance that feels like a performance from Dashboard Confessional the band instead of just a solo act of Chris Caraba that this has felt like lately. Dashboard has always been a largely acoustic rock act with early twinges of emo angst, but the modern product is one that's been drained of all enjoyability for me. So songs like Pain Free and Three Chords employ more of a more than just a royalty-free type of song that you almost come to expect going into this album. I actually went to this one and was able to listen to it a couple times and think, alright, this is... It's something. It's, it's good enough. It's, it's good. I like it. The general argument I've seen from people online is that Dashboard is a project that's meant to, enjoy, meant to be enjoyed purely on storytelling elements, especially in this new release. As Chris has noted, it's a brutally honest venture, but emotion and truth isn't enough to create a great album. Just look at another recent album that in fact I reviewed on this channel. It was my first review back with big air quotes being Escape the Fates Chemical Warfare. It was a song that covered a lot of emotional and personal ground from Greg Mavitt's perspective, but that didn't automatically make it a good album. While the album's goal was dead set on telling a story of being unbreakable through rehabilitation and recovery, it sounded like little more than just the same song recycled several times over with a very tiny handful of genuinely talkable moments. That sentiment is found here on this album as well, and it's multiplied tenfold. Even when the album gets catchy at times, like in the chorus of Burning Heart, I felt myself shaking my head at the overly basic lyricism. I've seen an overall sense of praise coming from critics and fans, but it's usually the same thing said over and over. And it's restating the phrase that Chris Graba pre precluded in this album, and I just don't really fucking get it. Critically or personally, I gotta stress that, both on a personal level and on a critical level. I'm not just sitting here like, oh, I dislike Dashboard Confessional, so I'm gonna talk bad about it. I look at every album, whether it's from a band I love, a band I openly kind of enjoy, or a band I hate, or a band I'm not too fond with. I look at every album with equal footing from a critical perspective, from a reviewer's perspective. And I'm not finding anything. Let's look at the lyricism itself and some key moments within the album. Uh, Sleep In is a song that feels like it was ripped from an NBR Tiny Desk performance in the prime Hobo Johnson era, where everyone sounded the same and wrote lengthy poems with middle school level rhyming schemes, making a song that could only appeal to a very niche fit, hit, pit of fans. So many songs, so many of these songs as well, just sound like they come from one base idea with no innovation. A good chunk of the album sounds like a bunch of Netflix movie ready songs, and that's not in a positive manner. This isn't a well done batch of Netflix ready songs, 
and that sort of feel like they're accompanying a larger story, such as a good half of the songs, if not more than half of the songs in the current After trilogy happening on Netflix. And this is the worst example of music that only fits to specific situations at specific times and by itself feels barren. I can't find a thing on this album to talk positively about, say for the brief points I brought up about Pain Free, and plain and simple, this is just underwhelming. It adds nothing of fruits to the discography of the Dashboard Confessional, and I'd like to note that I understand the need as an artist to tell stories about your experiences, and I recognize the fact that this is a form of therapy. I don't want to discount the fact that this was probably a very positive experience for Chris in the end, and that going through with this helped him along with some personal fights and some inner, inner turmoil. I understand that, but at the same time, this is music and I'm a music review channel and I do want to cover a lot of different music this album happened to be on the list here. I'm not sitting here and saying, hey, you're fucking stupid for feeling these things. I'm not saying that at all. I feel that even with, if the music itself is bad, if the story being told behind it is genuine and true, it's a beautiful song in that term. But in a critical term, like what I'm doing here with this review, I have to criticize it. I don't mean to undermine the weight of these happenings, events, and stories that Chris Graba is telling here on the album. I just can't justify looking at it from a critical perspective with a positive tone when it's the eighth album with no new ideas, no nuance, and no difference from the album that came before it. This is, in my critical opinion, an album that will only appeal to the most hardcore fans of the band, those who yearn to hear every word from them, and those that enjoy each piece of music from them regardless. If you're outside of those uh, circles there and you still enjoy this album, more power to you. I'm happy that you can enjoy this album. I cannot enjoy this album from either perspective that I keep talking about. To that effect, maybe this album isn't for me in a pure and finite sense, and I've wasted my time with this review, but reviews are what I like to do, even if the end result is this. For these reasons and the reasons I've listed above, all the truth that I can tell by Dashboard Confessional gets a 5 out of 10, and that's my review. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. If there are songs that sound genuinely different from the pack and aren't just recycled songs from Dashboard Confessional, please, please fucking comment them. I want to enjoy this up band like I enjoyed them back in the early days. I know I sound like a boomer. I'm 24 out of 24, and I want to enjoy this band, but recently with Crooked Shadows and with this album, I just can't. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video in some way. I hope you guys do enjoy this album. If there are people, again, again, if there's people who enjoy this album, fuck yeah, I am more than happy for you. I just couldn't find anything here personally or critically. So have a good day. Stay hydrated. I'll see you next time.